everyone, and welcome to the first official episode of Holiday Extravaganza! Just take a good look at all this stuff that I'm planning on opening. I got to thinking and I was like, well, you know, we should do something to celebrate Halloween. And I absolutely love Halloween. I like dressing up and I like going trick-or-treating. I don't know if I'll actually do that or not this year. We'll just have to wait and see. But if so, I might do a video on the candy I get. <laughs> but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, so the other video that I made with this board in the background, you guys haven't seen yet. But when you do, you'll understand why I call it the lucky board and the lucky code. So, showcasing in the back is a little picture that was drawn by one of my cousins. It just says, I like you, Christy. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get a close-up of the code for you guys. This is going to be our lucky code for the video. So whoever gets this Primal Clash booster pack, let us know. Let us know what you get in the comments below, and also so that people know the code's been taken or not. But... <clears throat> Tons of things to open, so this video is probably going to be a little bit longer, and I might cut some of it out or something, I'm not really sure, but I don't even know where to start. We've got tons of mystery boxes, blind boxes, and I actually grabbed some packs to open up, kind of with a Halloween-themed monsters or things that people like to dress up, so let's just rip into this. I've never opened a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Master pack. So let's just start out with this. We've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Masters little mystery bag here. And I'm looking into possibly doing more of these little mystery bags. But it looks like here you can get these different types of cards, different types of dice. So let's just rip into this, get started, and see what we can get in here. I'm trying a new setup here as well. We'll leave the card there and let's start with our dice. <sighs> so strange. Why? I really don't even know much about the dice or what you can use these for, but you've got a nice little dragon looking thing, some lightning bolts. Um, looks to be about it on this. It's kind of like an orange color. Then you've got some kind of sword and shield on this light blue die. Uh, don't really know what that is. But, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. And then we'll move on to, it looks like we get two Dice Master cards. Um, oh, okay, so I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, Dice Masters is a different, like, card game type thing. I've never played it. I didn't even know it existed. We've got Baby Dragon. Shows the information there. And a Blade Knight Lone Wolf. So, anyways, I didn't even know that was a game. So that's kind of interesting. And I guess, let's Heck, let's just do a booster pack. We'll just alternate between hanger bags and booster packs. I'm really anxious. My number one card that I want to pull in these uh, Pokemon Plasma Storm packs is the um, Shiny Charizard or Blastoise. Those cards look really cool. But also, I just want to be able to pull it, you know, like something super rare there. And we've got our Lugia pack art. It looks like this camera might be focusing a little bit better. I'm trying, I was sitting at a different angle to like reduce shadow and different stuff like that. Let's we'll see if this works. Alright, so we got our code card. <clears throat> I'm not going to give away all the codes, but I will give away codes throughout. Especially since now we've got our little lucky code on our lucky board. Hopefully that will give us some luck for these pools. I'm super hoping. Wow, I love that lampant. It's just chilling in the dark there, and I'm a big fan of, you know, the moon anyway, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, that Togetic looks really happy and cheerful. A hey, Chimchar giving us the thumbs up to do this awesome Halloween extravaganza. Magnemite!
these artworks are really, really cool. Reverse chew, uh, cub chew <laughs> with a big snot there. That's that's very lovely. And then a regular rare Leovani. So nothing like too too snazzy in that pack, but still, um, not entirely bad either. And. We'll see if this brings us some luck, too. In the past video, I was tacking some of these artwork things on the board that we were opening. Uh, try to speed this up in the video. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's rip into another pack. I'm just going to kind of mix these up. All right, sweet. We're going to start with a Japanese base set booster pack. Hoping for some good luck here. So far, a lot of the Japanese base set booster packs that I've gotten, I've just gotten, like, a rare trainer card or something. But we'll just have to wait and see what we've got back there. Ah, oh, sweet. So we're kicking things off with an original Japanese base set Pikachu and Onyx. Ugh. All those trainer cards from the original set, right? Farfetch'd. A switch. More trainer cards. Jinx. Oh my gosh! We got a hollow Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. Base set. Japanese card. That looks so sweet. Get that. To, just look at that hollow. Oh my gosh. That just looks so beautiful. That shine on the Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan! I keep on wanting to call it Hitmonchan. 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 Just look at that. It looks so awesome here. So awesome. Alright. Any, mini, miny, mo. Let's do a Minecraft box. So I found the Stone Series 2 minifigure box. These are the different figures that we can get. So I'm kind of excited. Like, I don't really know what I would want to pull from this. I do think the green horse is uh, somewhat rarer than the other ones from what I understood. And you've also got Steve and a zombie pigman and a wither. Like, some of these I don't even know much about. I don't actually play Minecraft. I just really like the figures and some of the merchandise that they have. Uh, who knows? Maybe one day I'll play that and do some little reviews. I don't know what to think. I don't know. Oh, that's hard to decide. Whoops, I knocked something over. Okay, let's just rip in. <gasps> no way! We got the Steve with the TNT! That is so cool looking! No way! We got the Steve with the TNT! That is so awesome! I actually wanted to pull that. It is actually really cool. That is awesome. I cannot wait to see what else we're going to get in some of these. Alright, let's choose something again. Completely random. Hmm. I'm thinking one of the hanger bags would be really cool about right now. Let's just go ahead and go for the Avengers bobblehead that I knocked over. Let's see here got the Avengers Marvel. These are all the different characters that you could pull. I really don't know what I want to pull. Like, I really, I guess I really don't care what I pull. So let's rip into it and see what we get. Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? No way! <laughs> we got Iron Man. Probably one of the more sought out ones because he's such a popular character. That is so awesome. I Whoa! Whoops, I dropped it. Look at that. It's a bobblehead, but bobblehead of Iron Man. Whoops. But just look at that. That looks so funny. I don't even have any type of bobbleheads in my house. This is kind of cool, though. <laughs> Alright. Just look at that beast got a little stand for it and everything. That is super awesome. Another pack. And also, 
I had bought a Double Crisis and a uh, Japanese booster box. I didn't know that it was first edition, so I wasn't going to open it up on video, so I'd already opened into it. But I'm going to open a couple of these packs, too. And I'll finish opening up the rest of this on a different video. Probably just grab about two, because this video is already really long. Alrighty, let's look at some of this stuff. Well, look at what... There, we've got our Japanese Double Crisis Booster Pack. Just kind of shuffled them up, and that made its way to the top anyway. Let's see what we get in here. Alrighty. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these little advertisements and codes. I'll probably give away some of these, too. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys this Japanese code. Um, I don't really know where you go to use it. Oh, it has the Japanese website right there. So you can figure out everything that you need to there. Sorry, um, I have to brush up on my Japanese skills before I can start, you know, announcing all that. And then our little announcement card. Probably for one of the next sets that are coming in. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's get right into this. Okay, wow. So some kind of energy here. I'm still not really familiar with this set. So um, I don't really know everything that I'm going to be seeing. I actually don't know what Pokemon that is. But that card looks so epic. I like how there's so much going on in these cards. You've got your Poochiana or Mightyana there thinking it's Mighty Anna. Don't really know what that one is either. And then we've got a Hollow Muck. <laughs> pretty sure in these packs it's a guaranteed Hollow in each pack. So that's pretty cool, but old school Muck there. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I sell like cards in different packs on my eBay store, Lundra underscore 2015. So I'm just going to lightly mention that again, and that eventually I'm probably going to be uploading different cards, Japanese cards, and some other cool stuff. The Nether Rat. Looks like these are the different figures that we can get. <laughs> Steve with the minecart. Now that would be really cool. Even this, the Cave Spider. I like. I've I've never opened many of these. Oh, you've got a squid, a, a Mushroom. These are kind of creative. It kind of makes me want to play. Anyways, I'll be happy with any of these, and I do think this is kind of Halloween-themed. I kind of miss going out with my brother and stuff. I don't really know what to think of this. <gasps> it is square. <gasps> what if it is the Steve Minecart? What? 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 Alright, I don't even know what it is. Whoa! It is a Steve, though! Look at that sword, man! Look at that! That looks so cool. That is so awesome. This is so crazy. We've pulled, like, two of these Steves. And I figured that, like, pulling Steves would be kind of hard because he's so popular and everything. Alright, let's get another booster pack. I don't know what I just flipped off. There's no telling. Alright, we've got Legacy of Darkness from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, set, and it's first edition. So this is kind of exciting. Now, I don't know the card trick on this one, so I'm just going to slowly go through these, or, well, not too slow, assuming that we still have quite a bit of stuff to look at. But these are so cool. Like, I miss, like, opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just so you guys know, I am going to be getting some Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes, though, to add to this uh, booster box opening. I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet, but my goal is to try to get through every booster box in the Pokemon English and Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! English and Japanese series. If you guys have any suggestions on what I could call it, that <laughs> that would be kind of cool. That card looks really cool. Lots of different lightning stuff going on. We've got a Super Robo Lady. Oh, crap. Oh, wow! We've got, like, a Super Ultra Rare there. The Fiend Skull Dragon. That is so 
awesome. Just look at that shine. And it's on a purple card, which is like my favorite card. Oh, I forgot about that card, but I do remember it. Like all the different natural disasters. The woodland sprite. That is so cool. I love that little dude. Just looks like a cool little fairy there that's just nonchalantly glancing at everything. Oh, I forgot about this. This is so nostalgic. And now I'm going to get the card that dropped in for. I think that was our rare. No, it wasn't. I guess the other dragon was. I'm still not really sure how the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff works, but it was a troop dragon. But still, I did not, like, I seriously did not expect to pull a fiend skull dragon. Of, like, all the things that I could pull. And to think that it's first edition as well. Like, just wow. Like, this is really awesome. So far, this Halloween celebration thing is going pretty good, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know what more you could ask for. You're getting good pulls, like, on everything. On the boxes, on the on the cards. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. Alright, let's take it uh, to a different down a different road here. Let's look at the Frozen box. Looks like we can get these different characters here. These different... Oh, whoops. There it is. A list of all the different characters. So you guys can pause that, zoom in, do whatever you have to do, look at it. I'm trying to make sure it focuses. Alright, let's rip into this. I'm super excited. Hope. My cats don't start trying to eat this plastic. It's so weird. My cats... Like, what makes a cat want to go and eat plastic? Plastic smells bad. It tastes... I'm sure it's going to taste bad. I mean, like, I've never tasted it. But, goodness. Okay, so it's in this really interesting black bag. So let's just see what we can grip in here. Come on. Ooh! So we have the Elsa... And I don't know how rare this one is. I'll look real quick, because I'm pretty sure that each one has a certain rarity. This one... <laughs> this one, you can get 1 in 12. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 1 in 12. So, not too rare, but still. That's pretty cool. I mean, most of the princesses are the most sought-out ones anyways. So, that's pretty awesome. And... Let's do another pack. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Ancient Origins. This came out of the booster box I was opening up for you guys, which I have a different plan for my booster boxes now, so I'll tell you guys what that is whenever I get to the next booster box opening video. I think you guys will like it too, because it'll kind of mix things up. But you guys can also vote and tell me what you think, too, because I don't want to, you know, turn people away. But I think it would be really cool. Alright, so we've got, we've got Ace Trainer. <laughs> the Gloom, of course. So many. Ooh, that Lord Vista looks so cool just chilling there in that lava. It's just, I don't know. I bet you no one else could handle that lava. Ooh, a reverse Porygon, and then a regular rare Vile Bloom. That seems to be kind of a trend in the uh, Ancient Origin sets. But then again, Vile Plume is kind of a sought-after card, from what I understand. I don't know. I don't play the game. I just go by what I hear. And that seems to be the trend. But I do like the reverse Hollows in the Ancient Origin set. And in most of the XY sets, definitely Radiant Collection, like, oh my gosh. Minecraft Hangers Series 2. This was the last bag at my local Walmart. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this. And then it shows you all the different characters here that you can get. So, let's just rip into it and see what we can get out of this. And hopefully I'll be able to speed some of this up so that you guys don't see a whole lot of excess stuff here that we don't need to. And we got... I have no idea. Like, what is this, guys? I don't play Minecraft. Is this a window? I bet you it's not a window. It's got to tell me what this is. Normally, I'm never getting anything that I actually want. 
Um, except for when it, I know what it is, guys. It's the lucky board. It's got to be the lucky board. Comment below. What do you think about this lucky board? Having this little thing to display things that we're opening up. I don't really think I should tack a box up there, but I guess I could. And it's going all or I bet you it's the drawing, too. My cousin gave me good luck from all of this awesome stuff. Well, I don't know. I wonder if this will sit up there. Probably not. We'll just sit this back here on the side. Oh, I forgot this little pack. That is so awesome, though. Like, wow. Okay. Let's get another pack. Dun, 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 dun. Not looking it is. Oh, let's go to the front. Another Ancient Origins pack. Oh, well. I'm really, really psyched anyways. Another Tyranitar art. Oh, that's right. You guys haven't even seen the booster box opening of this yet because I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, I will soon. Here is a good luck Ancient Origins code for sticking around with me for this long. Let me know what you get in the comments below. So let's do this. Let's hope for something interesting because so far the pools in this has been super insane. Like, super insane. We got a Curlia... Porygon 2, a really epic energy, and normally, I'm not so fond of getting energies, but for some reason, these cool new energies, they aren't so bad, and I love that Oddish, I'm telling you, that Oddish just looks so cool, like, if I saw that in an art place or something, that would be so <laughs> interesting, forest of giant plants, ooh, and a regular rare Entei, I'm not going to complain about that at all, I love Entei, that is one of my favorite Pokemon, and, I, like, my, probably, like, one of my all-time favorite cards is the Neo Revelation Entei, and I don't know, like, there's just something about the artworks on all of Entei's cards that just make him so... He just looks so powerful and majestic. Almost on every card. Like, I think it's even in Sky Ridge, maybe, where they have a card of him. At first, I didn't like the Entei card. But then I was like, you know what? Ha! Huh, I do like it. <clears throat> you know, I wasn't sure I was going to have time for this. But because of putting those away, I'm going to show you guys something so amazing. And we will open this eventually, fully. But I had to open one or two boxes for Halloween. Look at this. The Nightmare Before Christmas Mr. Mystery Minis box. There are 24 figures in this. And this is all the different figures that you can collect. Like, this is insanely awesome. Like, I would love to get that pumpkin. Like, there's so, like, to me, this just felt so much like the Halloween celebration that we should have. So, this is going to be the next box that we open when it comes to mystery minis. We're just going to go ahead and pull out one of these and take a nice little look at this box. Oh, that looks so cool. Like, I definitely think this will be something very interesting to open. Then you've got all your little figures on the back. Shows you the rarity of them. And it looks like... It actually looks like they are all have the same pull rate. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see what we get. Let's get our little trusty scissors here. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, Alright. Cool, cool, cool. So, what do you guys think of having, like, holiday opening extravaganzas where we open different things? Kind of more so relating to the holidays. <clears throat> and if you guys want, you can suggest a holiday in the comments below. As a matter of fact... I'm going to go ahead and mention the giveaway. In the comments below, tell me what you think about holiday opening extravaganzas. And tell me if you'd like to see more of these and what holidays you'd like us to celebrate in video. 
because I'm telling you, it's definitely going to be worth it because I'm going to be doing a giveaway in this video, probably a very, one of the very bigger giveaways. I only had one person claim their giveaway last month, but that's all cool, you know, it, shout out to Lily Lung. And hopefully this month we'll have people claiming claiming uh, giveaways as well. I've got four. And I'm going to be giving away different things. And I might even add some of the things that I've opened up in this video. I thought so. I got a witch. <laughs> Which I don't really remember her name because I know that her name is not witch but still this is pretty cool I'm just gonna tell you these figures they are well made you can tell that they are detailed and just because it kind of fit like I'm I was kind of not sure how that they would like look or turn out but they actually really do familiarize with the characters you just you can tell as a matter of fact I'm gonna add this specific figure to the giveaway in this Halloween give uh, video. It all it suits. It makes sense. You know, it's Halloween oriented. Let's add the let's add it. All right. We've got it down to 3 booster packs. I'll probably add a booster pack of cards from what I just opened as well. Oh, probably like the most fitting of the booster packs for the Halloween other than Legacy of Darkness from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't have very many Yu-Gi-Oh! single packs, so I didn't really want to ch like choose a whole bunch of those, but I thought Legacy of Darkness was perfect. <sighs> Which I'm pretty sure now they have, like, Shadow Specters or something, and, like, that's supposed to be super Halloween-oriented with, like, ghosts and stuff. But, let's crack into this. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we are going to kick things off here with another trainer card, AZ. Got a Fletchender flying around in the really pretty sky. Oh, is that a, another Fletching? It must have different artworks here. And a Muna, Gumi. Lit Leo. I really like that card, but he, in all of his cards, he looks so mischievous. Just like, I dare you to challenge me, and if you do, like, what are you gonna get? Oh my gosh, a Manetric EX Full Art! This is so crazy! I've been pulling, like, Full Art after Full Art lately. Of course, you guys probably haven't seen all of those, but you will. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Look at that, the lightning bolt in the top and the sun just shining down on him. Like, this is so cool. We're going to get a close-up of this. First EX pool of the video. This is really awesome. Like, we got lots of hollows and things, even some rare cards that I was really, really fond of. But this is so cool. This, oh, wow. Okay. So we've got two more booster packs here. I'm going to go ahead and open one of them. It don't even matter. They're both the same. Why don't we just... Let's save the English one for last. And let's just go ahead and open the Japanese one. And I'll open one more Nightmare Before Christmas box. Just to see what we can get. Alright, I don't care what anyone says. That box up there, it has to be lucky. It has to be lucky. There's no way that it's not. We just, we have gotten way too many good pulls from the boxes, from uh, the card packs, decent amount of hollows, full art EX, like just wow. Ooh, a camera up there. I think that's what it is. That looks really cool. Let's get into this. We've got... Our second Nightmare Before Christmas mystery mini vinyl figure mystery box. Blind box. Ugh. Oh, where are the scissors? I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know that I have. I wasn't 
sure what I was going to do, but I decided to make this the weekend Halloween video instead of dividing it up into different ones. Just a big Halloween celebration. So this is probably going to go up tomorrow, so it'll be after Halloween. But still, I've enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have too. In a couple minutes, I'll show you guys what I'm going to include in the giveaway. Because I've got probably a fairly big giveaway coming up for this. I'm not... Oh my gosh, I think it's the pumpkin head. Oh my gosh, I really think... Oh, it's the pumpkin head! Oh my, oh my gosh! I can add this to my Halloween decorations. This is so cool. This is what I wanted to pull. I really wanted to pull this. This is so awesome. Just look at the detail on these figures, though. They're very detailed, and there's really cool... It's really... It's painted nicely. There's good shading, good texture. Oh, wow. I'm just... I'm super excited. This is crazy. Okay. It's all down to one pack. So what are we going to get in this English Double Crisis pack? I've only opened one of these, and I got a hollow uh, wall ring. So I am kind of curious as to what I can pull in this. But... Whew, this has been... The opening of a century. The opening of a lifetime. Definitely the best opening the entire year. By far. Oh gosh. I actually don't know the trick for this either. Okay. I believe it's two. Alright. So let's get this all focused up here. Okay. We've got the secret base of Team Aqua. Team Magma's Great Ball, which looks so awesome with all that red explosion in the background. Yeah, that's the Poochiana, so I was right about the Mightyena. Although at first I was kind of confused. Oh, wow! Speaking of Mightyena, we've got the Poochiana and the Mightyena. Oh, I forgot Reverse is coming this, so we've got a Reverse Ball toy. Ooh, and a Hollow Muck, so that is so cool. We got the Japanese version of the Muck and the English version of the Muck. All right, before we move on, we are going to do a small recap here of the rares and the pulls that I really liked that I got. So, we'll start with the cards. We got a... Um, regular rare Entei. That was one of my favorite pools that I had gotten that wasn't hollow. A hollow camera A full art Maynetric EX. A fiend skull dragon. Looks super awesome. A Japanese muck from the team uh, Aqua, I think. And a holographic Japanese base set, Hitmonchan. And we finished up with the Team Mag uh, Aqua's Muck in the English set. So, that was really awesome on our pools there. As far as figures go, I honestly liked most of the figures. We got the, the Portal, the Bobblehead Iron Man. This awesome Halloween Town figure of the pumpkin. And two Steves. A TNT Steve, and then like the Diamond Armor Steve. So, all in all, I'm, I'm serious. This is like my favorite opening video to this day. And I've had some pretty good luck with pools. Even in some of the videos that you guys haven't seen of course, there's some bad luck, too. I guess that happens to all of us. But okay, let's get into the giveaway. As I told you earlier, tell me what you think about holiday extravaganza openings. Because we can open so many different things, and you guys can even vote on what you would like for me to open in the next video. So, in the comments below, tell me what you think about the video. Tell me what you would like to see in future holiday extravaganza videos. And then also tell me... You know, like, what was your favorite item that we got? And do you believe in the lucky board? Don't you think we should continue doing the lucky board? We can do different artworks. And who knows, maybe in the future, maybe we can get some people to send in some really cool artworks. But, let's get to the giveaway. As promised. Okay. 
we are going to have actually a couple of different items. I'm going to be giving away this really cool monster looking loot crate pin. A on the edge card, which I got as an extra in a booster box uh, that I had gotten. So I'm going to try to open that, which I've never opened. I thought it fit pretty well because it says Psychic Assembler on it. So it kind of, kind of has a Halloween theme. You will also receive this Mystery Mini Witch figure, which I think is really cool. You will receive some Dragon Ball Z, random Dragon Ball Z, and random Pokemon cards in this little tiny random booster pack. You will get Emily's Trail Mix provided to me by Love With Food Box, which looks rather tasty. It has almonds, raisins, cranberries, and cinnamon apple dices. So it sounds pretty cool. And also, you will get a Reshiram EX Pokemon card. Really sweet looking. You will get a random pack of just really random cards. It's in the protector for the um, Reverse Hollow sake. There might be some other cards in there, I'm not really sure. And then this one is a random Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Uh, booster pack. Hold on, let me prove that to you guys. It is Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So that's pretty cool. And then you will also receive a Star Wars book, The Truce at Bakura, by Kathy Tires. And you guys can pause and read this description here to see what it's about. Or even uh, look up the ISBN number here so you can get some information on it. It is paperback. It has some wear to it, as you can tell. There's some wear to the binding and just wear in general. But overall, it's still a really good book. And what I'm going to throw in with all of this are these two Dice Master cards. And a couple of random selected cards from the cards that I just got. So, if you guys would like to be included in this giveaway, let me know in basically answering the questions that I said. And I, I hope we do this again. Like, <laughs> just look at that mess on the floor of all the different things that we opened up. And then there's also, like... Tons of stuff that I'm not showing you because there's just so much stuff. Anyways, I am extremely hungry. I didn't know it was going to take this long. I'm super excited. I do believe in the lucky board. So, if you guys would like to send me mail or artwork to put on this lucky board to showcase, let me know. And, like, message me. And I'll provide you with a way to send me things. Until next time. Goodbye, and Happy Halloween! I wish luck to the person who wins the giveaway, because I might throw in some extras anyway.